Uh, we found an uh, almost quiet corner here at the EA booth uh, at E3 um, and we sat down with Patrick uh, to talk about Battlefield 3, obviously one of the biggest games at E3 this year. And uh, yes, what's the experience been like, the Battlefield experience here at E3? Well, for us it's been, it's been a big show. Honestly, the, um, the interest for the game is, is even bigger than I thought. Uh, if you look at the line downstairs into our multiplayer demo, it's five hours long. So that's kind of crazy. So obviously, it's been it's been an exhilarating experience and something that is it's really cool, and we we we're appreciative of it. How much work does it go into sort of because it's hard to 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 create a great demo at 4E3? How much work does it go into sort of planning that out and deciding just what part of the game you want to show and and that sort of thing? So yeah, when you make a game, um, you obviously plan for certain big shows. Like you know, you will have E3 and you will have Gamescom in Germany, and and they, those types of demos are a part of your development schedule. But still, it means a lot of work because uh, quite often you are doing things that you're not supposed to do at this time in development. You, you polish multiplayer experience when we should, when we're still building the bulk of it, right? So it's. Uh, it's quite tricky, and, and there's a lot of work that goes into it. A lot of uh, weekends and sleepless nights for the team. You showed off the tank section at, at the press conference. Could you tell us a little bit about that and, and sort of how much how much of the of the campaign we're going to spend in vehicles? Well, first of all, we, we wanted to. We've shown a lot of uh, infantry stuff before, and we decided that we'll do something that. We think that we're relatively alone to do, meaning you know the vehicle section and the big open world or the, the open landscapes. So we decided to go for a slightly slower paced tank level, um, and, and I think that was the right call. People seem to have really liked it. Um, if you look at the game, Battlefield is is a game that's um, I would say 50/50 in infantry and vehicles, and uh, I think you'll find the same thing here. It, it's the cool thing about Battlefield is that you can decide, right? If you want to be, and if you play multiplayer, you can play no vehicle, so you can play a lot of vehicles. Uh, you can play 90% or nothing, right? Uh, single player, I think we will cater the experience more, but we still want you to have an option to, cho to choose. Um, so in certain levels, you can absolutely finish the level without boarding a vehicle, but there will be vehicles at your disposal. So uh, at N N Nintendo press conference yesterday, we got to see some Battlefield 3 footage. Uh, but I think Rick Attell stopped short of saying that Battlefield 3 would come to Wii U, uh, but that Battlefield would uh, someday perhaps come to it. Uh, what's the what's the sort of if you could just clarify what what is what is what is the official line? Oh, well, the official line is exactly what John said that Battlefield will be on the cafe platform or the um, Wii U as it now is officially unveiled. Uh, it's just that what and when is still not decided. So it depends a little bit on the timing of when Wii U launches. Exactly, uh, and uh, I mean it's it's a very impressive platform. We've uh, been in development, we've been in development on it for a little while now, and it's it's a cool, interesting platform that I think uh, hopefully will will change some you know something in this in the in the, in, the, in the industry. Are there any ideas for a shooter that you could share? Like what what could it mean for a shooter? Uh, I mean nothing that I'm willing to share like this. But what I can say is the. The controller and the way that they've built the controller and how the controller interacts with the with the game console, that's that's going to give a lot of developers different cool ideas on what to do, and we certainly have a lot of them, I think. All right, and what what are people seeing downstairs now? What are they lining up for? Downstairs, we're showing a multiplayer level. It's called Operation Metro. Um, it starts in a park outside of Paris and then you work your way through the park into a subway system and then from the subway you work your way through the into the streets of Paris so it's a pretty large level but it's uh, it's in different areas that you progress through and uh, you should check it out it's really cool I played it a, co a week ago Oh, okay you did okay then you know what it is it's I would say that from a week ago it's uh, obviously a little bit more polished and uh, Certain things of it has been addressed, but uh, it's, probably, it's probably worth another go. So, uh, moving ahead, you, you mentioned that you have a schedule for what you want to show with each show. Uh, could you give us a tease of what, what Gamescom might bring in, in terms of Battlefield? 
Uh, I can't, but what I can tell you is the next thing that we will show is console and, and what console looks like, and you will see that from us very shortly. Thank you very much for your time.